All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about how to lube stabilizers without desoldering a single switch on your keyboard, as well as how to tune up old stabilizers that need some tender love and care. So this is a really old PCB slash plate assembly I have. I got this from KBD fans, and this was supposed to be pre-lubed from the factory. And when I mean pre-lubed, I mean just the stabilizers. KBD fans does not actually lube each individual switch. I thought they did, whoops. One thing to note though is they did do a light, very light, and I mean extremely light, application of lube to these stabilizers years and years ago, which is pretty much all faded and gone. And to demonstrate some stabilizer rattle, we have our brown switch. I know, don't judge me guys. Glorious says I'm looking at you. With some unlubed cherry clip and stabilizers, a Jim K space bar, and I'm gonna demonstrate that to you guys right now. And obviously we're gonna to wanna to make this sound a lot better. And we're gonna do that by prepping some stuff before we actually get into this. So we'll go over the items I use right now in the video. And the easiest way to do this is by grabbing one of these. These are actually 20520 that's already put in like a syringe just without a metal tip. Uh, and these are actually gonna serve as the easiest way to quickly lube some stabilizers. Now, if you don't have this, don't fret. Some basic 20520 and a brush will work wonders. Here I'm using 20520 that you can source from literally almost every single vendor and a brush that I got from Kinetic Labs. And another tool that might serve very useful in this is a stem puller. I have this one here from TX, but you can always grab those little wire jewel holders as well. And I just find this makes everything more simple and easier to grab. This is completely optional though. And we are ready to actually start lubing our stabilizers without disassembling anything. So we're gonna grab our stem holder, pull up on the stem of the stabilizer, and we're gonna grab our lube. Now for anyone who doesn't have a syringe, Simply do everything that I'm doing except use the brush to push in the lube rather than the syringe. And what you're gonna be doing is inserting the tip to where you see the wire and then pushing in the lube. And what this is gonna do is gonna fill in as much as you can with lubricant and it's gonna help prevent that stabilizer from rattling. And if you get any excess lube on the stabilizer, simply wipe it away. So we're essentially repeating the process here. We're pulling up with our stem holder and then you're gonna insert the syringe tip to where you see the wire on the inside. This can be done one of two ways. Technically, you don't have to do it this way here. I just find it's easier to get in it from this angle. And once you feel confident with that, I put a bit of lube right before the bend where it's closest to the stabilizer, just so there's no extra rattling or ticking happening. Make sure everything's done evenly. And once you're done, you can proceed to the next step which is gonna be grabbing our paintbrush, putting some lube on it, and very carefully putting some lube on the inside of the stabilizer stem area. And you don't need much lube here. In fact, you can actually go a little bit lighter and apply more as you need or more as you feel, since this is probably one of the easiest steps of this. And we're gonna be pulling up with our stem holder and then applying that lube to the side of each one of these stem areas as illustrated in the video. And try not to leave any white residue from the crytox here. The less the better again. You can always wipe some of that excess residue off with the brush to make it nice and smooth and even as possible. And now we're just rinse and repeating those exact same steps, but this time on the other stabilizer. And that's pretty much it. We're done. We can now test what this stabilizer actually sounds like, which we'll do here in a second. But as you can see, that's a pretty big difference without having to desolder a single thing to get to those stabilizers. And honestly, you can do every single stabilizer here without having to desolder a single switch. And I'm sure there's other methods on how to do this. This is just what I use. So please take it with a grain of salt and also be careful and wash your hands after you're done doing all this type of lubing. And you can use this exact same method if you simply just need to tune up some old or pre-existing stabilizers. Just follow the exact same steps I illustrated in the video and you guys will be golden. But let's illustrate that again, but this time on a 2U stabilizer, specifically the enter key. And I'm just gonna quickly time lapse how I did this. If you wanna look back on all the instructions on how to do this again, I encourage you to look at the earlier parts of the video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. This was fun to do.
And that's really it. That's how to lube your stabilizers without desoldering your entire board. Hopefully someone found this helpful, and if you guys did, leave it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys liked or disliked anything. Honestly, I'm here to improve. And if you guys do need some more help, feel free to join the Discord. It's in the YouTube bio description thingy, whatever it's called, as well as all the parts that I use for today. I'll try my best to get links for those. And if you guys want to know more, feel free to tune into my Twitch streams. I stream every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. See you around, guys. Bye.